Today let's explore how to interpret and read a culture and sensitivity report. So when you get a culture report back, it'll first tell you whatever bacteria was identified. In this case, it was E. coli. And then there'll be a whole list of different antibiotics and also there will be an S or a, an R, sometimes there's an I for intermediate. So if the patient was started on an empiric antibiotic, it's important for us to know what, which one that was. So let's say the patient was started on Cipro, but now we know by their culture result that it is resistant to Cipro. So now what we need to do is notify the provider and let them know about this because this antibiotic is not going to help our patient. Now, in addition, we'll look at the ones that are actually have that S for sensitive, and then the provider will take a look and actually change the patient's antibiotic to be one of those that actually that specific E. coli for our particular patient is sensitive to so that they can get better and we avoid multiple drug-resistant organisms.